Hey everybody, welcome back to the Goldstein Family Dining Room. I am Michael. I'm Heather. And uh, today we've got something a little special for you. We'll be venturing out of the Goldstein Family Dining Room all the way to the uh, treacherous, dangerous dun, 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 dun. driveway where we're going to be getting out of the house to do a little bit of Jackson Pollock style painting. Yeah. Heather's volunteered to show you how it's done, and if you've ever said anybody can do that, you might find that it's a little bit more challenging if you uh, don't know what you're up against. So she's got a few tips and tricks to share with you as well. Yeah, let's get ready to paint. Okay, we're now in the Goldstein family driveway. Heather, tell us a little bit about what you're doing to prepare. So I picked out some a bunch of different colors from uh, Lucas. It's the pro liquid, so it's gonna be more fluid. And I'm dumping them in a cup and mixing in a little bit of Jerry's studio medium. And that'll just make the paint go a little bit longer. The consistency of the paint is really good for this but this way we can just get a little bit more out of it. And then I'm gonna use all of these different tools, popsicle sticks, the catalyst brushes, um, paint brushes, the ends of paint brushes to splatter the paint on in Pollock style. All right, well, let's, uh, let's start our first mix. All right. I think that the biggest mistake people make is that they get really excited about it and just keep on going. But what you're gonna wanna do is actually let your layers dry, but you want to give it some time so that the color sets, and that way when you put the next layer on, it does it all mix together and get goopy. Now for Pollock, he was all about the experience of the painting, and he would just use all sorts of different tools to create different marks. His canvases were a lot bigger than this, but we're just doing like a smaller at home version. I think you got a little paint on your jeans. <laughs> From another Pollock day. <laughs> All right, so now once you're done with this, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna come back and do another layer. Mm -hmm. What I wanna know is who's gonna clean the paint up off my driveway? There's a lot of physicality to Pollock painting. Probably why I'm not very good at it, because it scares me. And now we're gonna move on to our next color, magenta. So this is what we were talking about earlier. You see how the colors aren't like blending together because we're allowing the layers to dry. So you see how they are layering on top of each other instead of, you know, getting a watered down version uh, or a blended version of some of the other colors. That That's what Heather was referring to earlier. Especially so if you want to use some opposite colors, you'll really want to make sure they're dry because that's how you get that muddiness. All right, well now we're gonna have to wait for this to dry a while because that was some thick painting. Yeah, sorry. And uh, we'll come back again. Now, what do we got going on? This one's ivory black. Ivory black, okay. I don't think I'm gonna mix anything into it. No uh, gloss medium. Right. We go for a popsicle stick again. Can't go wrong with a popsicle stick. just want to play around with how you're applying the paint because honestly more than anything it's it's the experience it's fun to do this is actually a great way because you know a lot of the things that we've been showing people is 
uh, art for indoors, and this is a great excuse to get outside and just just get outside. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we need it. So we're going to our final step, which is going to be this lemon yellow. Since uh, yellow pigments are typically more transparent, I'm not going to put any medium in this one either. To prevent from uh, diluting it. For, yeah. Uh, yeah. We want it to be as opaque as possible. You'll notice it's it's not even a, like in the wrist, it's in the entire body, the arm, the shoulder, you know, it, it's express, expressive movements that are giving expressive lines. Get rid of some of that energy that I have stored up That's being right. inside. That looks pretty good. It. I kind of like it too. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a at home uh, Jackson Pollock painting. Okay. So the uh, driveway has only received minor damages, <laughs> but the painting looks great. I'm actually really happy with it. Yeah, I'm very me too. impressed. Yeah. I'm very impressed with what you did. Uh, so uh, hopefully you will be painting along at home. Uh, this is a great opportunity to get out of the house a little bit, an excuse to go fling paint around and let out your cabin fever frustrations uh you can take advantage of our promo code here comes the shameless plug of course art at home this will be good on all of our sales and our teachers carts that we've provided for these videos so you know the materials we're using uh so in addition to all that stuff the promo code will also give you gets you a five dollar e-gift card for any purchase of fifty dollars or more and a fifteen dollar e-gift card for any purchase of a hundred dollars or more booyah that's good stuff so uh, let us know in the comments below. Did you have fun with this? Did you give it a try? Show us your work. Uh, I think that we should have started asking that from the beginning. Yeah. You know, like show us what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And uh, thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.